Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Emma here from the Hoover Public Library here to bring you story time for this morning. So today we're gonna read a story and do a little finger play. And those that story and that finger play are about an special animal that I'm gonna have you guys help me guess. Are you ready? You're gonna get two hints. The first hint is that this animal lives in the ocean. And the second hint is this animal has eight legs. Can you guys guess what animal this might be? That's right. Today's story time is all about an animal called an octopus. So let's get started. The story we're going to read today is called Octopants by Susie Senior. You guys ready? Let's get started. Hello there. I'm an octopus. There's something you should know. I don't have any underpants. I have nothing on below. Let's see, I tried to buy some octopants. I tried all over town, but everyone just laughed and laughed or answered with a frown. Underpants for you, they said. Oh no, we don't have any. The problem seems to be your legs. You just have six too many. Uh oh, that might be a problem. I've even tried to shop online. I've tried to surf the net. I found a cod, three tuna, and my credit card got wet. Let's see, this looks like the cod, and that looks like the three tuna right here. One, two, three. I still could not find octopants. It almost made me cry. But every everyone has underpants except for octopi. So you guys see all of these fish that have underpants on? How silly is that? But then one day, I found a place I hadn't seen before. A seahorse hovered just inside the huge revolving door. Do you guys see the seahorse? He's right here. She's right here. Let's see what the seahorse has to say. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Why don't you step inside? My undersea emporium is famous ocean-wide. I have bobble hats for barnacles, and evening wear for eels, onesies for sea urchins, and slipper socks for seals. Jewelry for jellyfish, water wings for whales, and rainbow paint for rainbow trout to brighten up their scales. Yes, I have clothes for everyone with spots and stripes and rockets, pirate ships and sparkly bits, and lots and lots of handy pockets. Pockets are the best. Now, underwear for you, sir? I think you've been misled. Perhaps you don't need octopants, but something else instead. And then I saw the problem. I'd looked at this all wrong. These legs weren't legs. These legs were arms and had been all along. Hello there, I'm an octopus. And now my day is better. Instead of buying underpants, I bought an octo sweater. That is awesome. That means octopus is all good to go. And look at how cute that striped sweater is. And that is the story of Octopants by Susie Senior. That was so great, you guys. Okay, are you guys ready to do a little finger play with me? Great, but before we do that, we have to get our fingers all warmed up. So. Can I see everybody hold your finger hands out like this and wiggle your fingers for me? That's right. Okay, we're gonna wiggle them over here and over here and up here and down here. Okay, I think my fingers feel ready to go. So I'm gonna do this finger play once by myself and then we're all gonna do it together, okay? So it goes just like this. Once I saw an octopus down in the deep blue sea, I called, Mr. Octopus, won't you play with me? Then out came his tentacles, so very long and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was awesome. Are you guys ready to do it with me? You got your fingers ready? Okay, we're gonna do it just like this. Once I saw an octopus down in the deep blue sea, I called, Mr. Octopus, won't you play with me? Then out came his tentacles, so very long and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
That was awesome. Let's do it one more time, okay? Once I saw an octopus down in the deep blue sea. I called, Mr. Octopus, won't you play with me? Then out came his tentacles, so very long and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was awesome, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me at story time today. I had so much fun. So that's all for today. And we will see you guys back here tomorrow morning for another story time with the Hoover Public Library. Bye, everybody.